What's up guys, today we're taking a look at another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2021 set review. This is the Mandalorian Forge, set number 75319, coming out on September 1st for $29.99 here in the US, comes with 258 pieces and has three minifigures alongside the Mandalorian Forge build itself. Now of course if you're a fan of the Mandalorian TV show, this is definitely something you will recognize immediately for its iconicness and of course its importance as a scene in the Mandalorian, specifically for the Mando character himself. Now, Huge thanks to LEGO for sending this set today to review. Of course, all opinions expressed will be my own in today's video. So let's take a quick look at the box here. On the front, of course, we have all three minifigures, the information about the set, and of course, you get to see the Mandalorian Forge build itself. Now, on the back, you do have some more images about the functionality of the set, some closer-up images of the actual build itself with the minifigures and all that kind of stuff. Now, only 258 pieces for 30 bucks. This is something pretty standard that I would expect for a $30 set for Star Wars. So let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures first. So there's three minifigures in this set, two of which are brand new and exclusive. Let's start off with the first exclusive minifigure here. We have the Armorer. This is probably the most exciting minifigure here in the set. And I gotta be honest, there are a couple of letdowns. But first, let's talk about some fun facts about the minifigure. The helmet's actually using the same exact helmet that Gar Saxon uses in terms of a mold. Of course, the color is changed to a gold and black contrast for the Armorer herself. I was hoping we'd get the fur coat as a actual accessory, maybe like a cape or maybe a different take on an accessory for the minifigure like that. But the fur coat the Armorer has in the TV show is actually printed on the front and the back of the torso. This was a little bit disappointing to me. She does have a black head, there is no printed face, and to me, it looks like the visor is somewhat low. I feel like it's not quite as high and there's a lot of forehead room on the helmet. Let me know what you guys think about that down below. She does come with some accessories. Of course, she is the one doing all the work with the forge itself, so she has a hammer and this little grab stick that comes as her accessories, and she also does have some pretty standard leg printing, but otherwise a pretty good minifigure. It's just I really wish we got like that fur coat as an accessory. Next up here with the other exclusive minifigure we have Paz Vizsla. Now this was the Mandalorian character from the TV show who was more sort of brute, sort of bigger. Honestly he's probably like the Wrecker equivalent of what we saw in the Mandalorian. He does have a sand blue aesthetic going on with his armor. He does come with a black head and the same issue with the helmet. I feel like the printing is just a little bit low but maybe that's just me. He does have the same armor piece that Wrecker uses from the Bad Batch attack shuttle. Of course it is blue and has significantly more detail and more printing on the armor itself. Now on the back you do have a bracket which goes right under the head and on top of the neck when you have this brick built backpack. Now in the show Paz Vizsla himself actually has a backpack and like this bigger blaster so Lego did try to recreate that with having a pretty sizable brick built backpack. Also a pretty decent looking blaster which I actually haven't really seen this uh, combination of parts to create a blaster in Star Wars before so that was pretty cool. As far as printing goes of course he does have all the sand blue armor and some also different colors. You have the brown utility belt going across with the belt buckle and then you have have these sort of gold yellow like colors for the shin guards which actually look really cool and then of course you do have the feet printing as well so overall the past visual minifigure is actually a really good one and i'm happy to finally have a different styled mandalorian uh, in my collection and then the last one here is the mandalorian himself this is the same minifigure that we've seen in the trouble on tatooine he does look really good however no printing on the head i'm starting to wonder if we'll ever get head printing since we've seen the mando's face so many times now in the tv show i feel like it's only right for lego to give us a head printing at some point but it will have to wait and until after, I guess, this set comes out. Very standard Mando armor. He has, of course, the Beskar armor on the arms, the torsos, and the legs. A really beautiful uh, color, especially with the metallic silver. He does also have a jetpack, which is very important and crucial to the scene from the Mandalorian, especially when you're referencing the set itself. And then it does also come with two blasters. So overall, the minifigure lineup definitely isn't horrible. I think there's definitely some room for improvement. But I think it's also really cool to finally have two more brand new and exclusive uh, minifigures in the form of the armor and, of course, Paz Vizsla. So now that the minifigures are out of the way, let's go ahead and actually talk about the build itself. So like I said, after you take away the pieces from the minifigures, it's probably a roughly about a 230 piece build here. And you have a couple of different sections. The first one's going to be the main section, which is, of course, the Forge Furnace. There are some blue uh, light pieces, the flame pieces from LEGO that are on a top of one by one studs. Now, of course, this is where you would use this guy right here. This is actually what I use as an equivalent to, you know, when you're making a pizza in an oven, you have to get that really long sort of board. You have to shuffle the pizza. That's kind of what this is, but it's for best. Beskar, not pizza. 
if that makes sense. So the idea is you use this, you put the ingot inside the crate here and you actually place it in the middle of the furnace. And of course, using your imagination, the furnace heats up the metal and the armor. And then of course, that is what the armorer uses to make the new Beskar armor, which is a pretty cool play feature that I like. There are some sort of quarter circle tiles here going around it uh, with some cool stickers. You also have some compartments on the exterior of the furnace itself for some extra accessories uh, to hold on to the hammer and other cool tools like that. Now you do have this functioning technic piece right over here which does go swivel around the entire furnace. I feel like this is sort of like the fan if you will if you're ever making food. This is like the fan so you're making Beskar you still got to have a fan. So it does uh, connect onto some Technic pins and a pretty cool detail uh, that swivels around 360 and you can also place it right above the furnace which is definitely where it's supposed to go. Now I'm going to move these minifigures out of the way here. You can actually separate the build itself. So you could separate the furnace uh, connected by some hinge pieces so it actually separates into two different sections. Now a really cool thing about this set which I think a lot of people are going to be excited for is that this is the only set as of right now to include a blank Mando helmet. That's right. Blank helmet for you guys who are customizers who like to decal who like to custom print or if you still even like to sharpie on your figures this is going to be something really exciting and I'm actually kind of stoked to see what you guys as you guys people who customize their own Mandalorians I'm wondering what you guys are going to make out of this one so that's going to be kind of cool and going to be something really cool to look forward to in the set now here is that second section like I was talking about on the right here you can see there is that blank Mando helmet that is just sitting in the corner so you customizers are definitely going to go crazy what I really like there is a 2x2 two two, uh, sticker on a tile but it is the Mandalorian logo I mean it would have been cool to get this as a printed one but honestly in a $30 set wasn't really expecting that you have some nice little archways of course mixed in with like dark tan colors you have a broom on the left side and a table that does hoist up the Mandalorian helmet itself and then the ground is pretty much detailed with some dark bluish gray and light bluish gray tile and plates and stuff like that to move towards the left section of the second half there is a lot more playability and functioning so first off this cabinet does open at the very top here and you have a sticker that does have some of the cool tools that you will recognize if you've seen the Mandalorian TV show so you have like the longer pliers and the clip and everything like that in this really cool opening trunk which is nice now this whole thing actually does come off as well and if you open up the top here you'll notice there are some other cool stuff inside these crates here you have some different materials different stuff like that you'll be needing to craft uh, the best car armor which is a really nice and neat feature that does connect by this two by two jumper plate here and uh, pretty seamlessly you can take it off and put it back on really easily now towards the left here you also have a brand new exclusive piece this is a one by one trans blue cylinder piece that actually has the printing of a Mando on it, which is super cool. It's sort of like this hologram. It's very similar to what Lego did with the Leia hologram, except it's just a one by one cylinder brick and not actually sort of carved out and molded. But nonetheless, a really cool exclusive piece. You have this one by one printed Mandalorian sort of hologram. So if you guys are mock builders, brick filmers, and you want to make a really cool scene, this is definitely something that's going to be really cool for you. And right below it, you do have like this control panel, something we've seen very similarly with stickers. You have the two by two and one by one slopes representing the control panel. And then as the last little feature here on the left you do have some other functionality aspects of it connected by some technic pieces you have these cylinder pieces which do move uh rotate sort of 360 of course you have like the laser and then the lever which does sort of hammer down onto the ingot itself so overall a pretty small set now i do gotta say if i have to compare this and then also the trouble on tatooine i'd probably say this one is much more worth your money you're getting really cool minifigures and you're getting really exclusive parts like that blank mando helmet like that brand new printed hologram on that one by one cylinder brick so i think there's a lot of exciting stuff to look forward to for what is already a pretty reasonably priced set but of course when you factor in everything else like the cool new minifigures that we've got in the armor the past vizsla and then also getting another mando i feel like this set is definitely a day one grab for a lot of you guys i would personally like to see a lot of you guys use that blank mando helmet and see what you can make with it i'm interested to see what the customizer community is going to do with those guys but that's it for today's review guys hope you all enjoy drop a like if you did and subscribe we got a lot of new stuff coming up very very soon so make sure you guys stay tuned for all that stuff huge thanks to lego once again for sending the review copy our way and we'll see you later take it easy peace